This was the first year for recorded content. So it's the very first episode back in March of 2021, and we've published a, a podcast episode every single week since then. In each episode, we try to help B2B marketers get the most out of their podcasts. Sometimes we showcase how other shows are built. Sometimes we bring on experts who are developing technology in the world of podcasting. And other times we bring on people who can simply help you become a better podcaster, whether it's through interviewing techniques or other strategies. So I wanted to take an opportunity to highlight some of my favorite quotes from the guests that we had on the show this year. The first segment is from a conversation I had with Jay LaBeouf of Descript. When Jay came on the show earlier this year, we talked about how the workflow with audio and video content is really difficult, especially with long form interviews. Before Descript, you had to create transcripts separately in another application. And the post-production workflow with long form videos or documentaries was really impossible to organize from that standpoint. But now we have Descript and it's actually in the center of our workflow here at Motion. And it's really changed how we approach video podcasts. So, so let's talk about like a documentary style show where you're going to have all of the source material. It could be, you know, a collection of interviews with your subjects. It could be news, news recordings that you want to include in there. And if you just start with that, maybe you're going to have 10, 20, 30, 40 hours of content that the first step is you have to catalog it. So you have to listen to it all and then start keeping notes on what material you think could make a good sound bite. Then from there, you're gonna to wanna to start your storytelling. So you're gonna start writing out lines of things that you know that the narrator or the voice actor, the host is going to say to try to stitch this story together and then inserting those sound bites that tell the story better than just the narrators telling the whole thing start to finish. So the way that it was done traditionally is you would have to transcribe all of that source material. So all of those interviews, you'd have to either put on a set of headphones and just type it out or send it off to an expensive transcription service where teams of humans would put on headphones and just type it out. Then you'd have that long transcript and it would have time code. So things like at five minutes and 49 seconds, Tristan said, I'm going to the store. I'll be right back. You know, that's mm -hmm. something that you would put in your notes or highlight with an actual highlighter and say, I, I want to use this tape. Then the final piece would be someone would put together a paper edit with all these sound bites typed out and their time codes. And then it would be handed off to the editor and the editor would then be responsible for bringing in all those pieces of tape, going to the time codes. I'm exhausted just talking about this, uh, <laughs> grabbing this, this is tape, perfect though. Yeah, I love it. Assembling it into Pro Tools as if it were analog tape, but just in digital form, you know, finding the right places, putting it there, and then you listen to it and figure out, does that actually work? Or nope, do we need to go find some other material? If you're a podcaster and you're not yet aware of Descript, I strongly encourage you to give it a shot. It's really one of the most revolutionary pieces of technology I've seen since I've been producing audio and video content for, for really over 15 years. The next segment I have on my list is focused on storytelling. All the marketing gurus out there say you should simply tell stories. If you do this, your content will automatically be amazing. But most people don't really know how to construct a story. The hero's journey that you often hear about and, and other screenwriting techniques are, are very difficult to understand, especially for those who haven't studied storytelling for a long time. In an earlier episode of Recorded Content, I had Park Howell on the show. Park runs one of the most popular podcasts on business storytelling. It's called The Business of Story. And he spent the last 10 plus years simplifying the complex process of storytelling through something called the ABT narrative framework. But why is it so hard for a marketer to tell a good story? Well, let's, let's first start with the story structures that you hear about all the time. And the same mistake I made almost 15 years ago now, is here, here's the hero's journey, just apply this and you'll be mm -hmm. great in your branding and marketing. And people go, what? And then you hear, here's the Pixar way, you know? And so you take the Pixar way and you look at it and you go, what? Unless you really apply your understanding, you're not a screenwriter. You're a business executive, a marketing communicator, a sales executive. And those things are like nearly impossible to apply. 
So I think why there is not more story going on in general is storytelling is difficult if you're trying to wing it. It, 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 It's hard unless you practice it and you got to practice it every day. So my whole mission, I took the complex and I simplified it right now down to the and button, therefore, or the ABT foundational narrative framework that I teach everybody because that is the building block for all great storytellers. The beautiful thing about the ABT is you can use that story dynamic in under 15 to 20 seconds when you are trying to hook your audience in because it sets up an aspirational statement of agreement with the and, but here's the problem that we're going to be solving for. Therefore, here's the rest of the story, basically. As you can see, the ABT narrative framework is a great way to build stories. It can help you as a marketer share better stories through email, video, keynote presentations, and yes, even a podcast. And speaking of podcasts, this year was a great year for podcasting. But was 2021 the golden age of podcasting? Or will 2022 be the golden age? Well, here's one of my favorite quotes about the golden age of podcasting. And it's from the co-founder of Captivate, Mark Asquith. It's been the golden year of podcasting since I got into podcasting. Someone said that, you know, and usually to try and sell something, which is not a bad thing. You know, that's that's how sales work, you know. And I suppose a less cynical mind might say, well, of course, it's the golden year because last year was the most golden year up till that point, And this year's just got better. You know, that's that's like the nice optimist's view. And, uh, you know, all joking aside, and you know, I'm being a little bit flippant there. Like I am an optimist when it comes to podcasting. I've got to be because I, I help to shape it and I create it and I love it. I'd still be doing, I'd still be building podcasts even if I didn't work on it. I'd still have all this gear and I'd still be talking about things that I love. Uh, the reason that I always kind of just add a little sensibility to that notion is that it's easy for the, the, the hyperbole to kick in and for people to think, well, this is great. I can just build something quickly because it is the golden age. And, you know, the golden age is very often in people's minds equitable to a gold rush, which is a yeah. very different thing. So I'm always saying that with with the best intentions, which are to set some quality expectations, but also to help people to understand, you know, what it really means to be a podcaster and to, to create a brand in podcasting. So of, of course, it's the best time that podcasting has ever had. But don't confuse that with a gold rush. The truth is, every year is a great year for podcasting. And this year won't be any different. Now is the time to create a show for your ideal customer. And if you're looking to create a great show for your company, then join us here on Recorded Content each and every week. That's all I have for now. Until next time. Thanks for listening to Recorded Content, a show brought to you by Motion, a done-for-you podcasting agency for B2B tech marketers. We do the podcast stuff so you can focus on strategy, building brand awareness, and developing new relationships. To learn more about how you can launch and grow a podcast for your company, check out motionagency.io. Thanks for listening to Recorded Content.